Merry Christmas from Michael America Stadium, and it was a Christmas day here, even though it is Christmas Eve, as the Carolina Panthers wrapped up their home season today with 48-16 win over Tampa Bay. And, and Dustin, this team has got to six wins, which you predicted. I had five, but got a chance to get one more, maybe get to seven and nine. Yeah, probably the most convincing and most fun win of the season here at Bank of America Stadium. I um, mean, everybody getting involved, fans getting footballs after touchdowns, um, Stephen High 48 points. Um, you got Cam breaking records. I mean, the scene here at Bank of America Stadium was one of the better ones we've seen in a long time. And it just shows that this team has got a lot of great promises and stuff happening in the future, especially for next year. And they can be the that we talked about with a few more pieces next year. So they've got to go the right direction. And I will go on record four weeks ago saying this would be a wild card team next year, though. But again, this team has continued to get better. And gosh, you sit down right now and say, what if? certain games they had won, did not get away the close losses they had, they would have actually been in the playoffs for this young team that is continuing to get back. Yeah, you're right. Cam talked about it in the post game. They asked him what would he look back on after this season. And, of course, he's happy with everything that's happened, you know, with the, with the records he's setting, with the way the offense has been producing. But he said you got to look back at those plays where the games they could have won, close games, turnovers, miscues that – that other teams didn't do to them, they did to themselves. So that's the kind of stuff they'll look at, but they'll use that to build towards next year. And, and I mean, with all the pieces they have coming back, this is going to be a fun team to watch for a long time. And just the one thing I noticed too and pointed out during the game, the number of players that were in sweatshirts and sweatpants today that on IR, this team has lost so many players to injury, but keep plugging in young, hungry guys who want to go out there and play. And again, Coach Ron Rivera said it goes to credit to his coaching staff that they get somebody different prepared every week to plug in and get the job done. Yeah, coaching staff done a great job with that. They got a record number of players on IR this year um, for the franchise. So a good job of plugging guys in who, who, who are producing. I mean, you got guys out there four-string linebackers, four-string defensive tackles, all out there making plays. And um, it's good to see the coaching staff still have those guys playing hard. And it's going to pay off for them because this stretch at the end of the year could lead for a lot of confidence and momentum heading into the offseason. One thing interesting, too, and to kind of bring up what you're saying, they bring in the defensive back who's on the practice squad as of yesterday. They decided this week the guys starts and gets to do the Again, great job. Coaching staff, I know there's been times that you may have disagreed with some of the things, play calls and things I kept up, but again, I give this credit for coaching staff first year credit. I would give them an A. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's been some stuff we've disagreed on, but we all agree that it's a young coaching staff and they're learning and they're going to get better. And Rivera's doing that. Rivera is the right guy for this job. He's got the players buying in, and it's something that, that's going to pay off in the long run. And you just got to look at stuff today. I mean, Everybody got involved. You had D'Angelo Williams, Johnson Stewart, both scoring touchdowns. You had Brandon LaFell catching the longest pass in history for the Panthers, 91 yards for a touchdown. Cam Newton throwing for three, one or for one. I mean, everybody was involved. You had Shockey. The, Shockey had a touchdown. You had the defense getting interceptions, fumbles on the two fumbles on kickoffs for Tampa Bay, thanks to the special teams. So everybody got involved today. And it, I mean, probably one of the best wins in two or three years. I know it was against a sorry team, but to see the energy in this stadium on Christmas Eve, fans buying into the future, um, it's a great scene. Sorry team that last year believed to beat the Panthers, yep. I believe twice. Yep. So, gosh, when is the last time the Panthers cleared their bench and took their starters out and didn't play any starters in the fourth quarter? Yeah, exactly right, and we didn't even talk about Cam Newton breaking the record of Peyton Manning, who was one of the best quarterbacks ever in this league. His rookie passing record breaks it today. Um, he only needs to throw, I believe, if he gets 100 yards next week passing, he goes over 4,000 for the season as a rookie. I mean, those are unbelievable numbers. You got Steve Smith having one of his best years in a long time. A lot of stuff to build on. We keep saying the word build on for the offseason. But finally, you can be excited for the future. It's been at least three or four years since this team has said, we know where they're going, we know what we're going to see. And man, it's great to be here. It's great to be here and witness what happens. The word of the day on Christmas Eve is fun. The team is having fun. They're enjoying and they're playing when they have fun. People on the press box. They play. People on the press box are laughing and having fun. Day. You don't see that a lot. You know, you're supposed to be quiet up there. People are laughing at the plays the Panthers are making, saying a lot of wows. I mean, it's a great scene here at Bank of America Stadium. And hopefully for this city, they finally have a guy to get behind as far as their football team, their franchise player. And hopefully it continues to do this in the future. Again, this time last year we were sitting here knocking around. Who will they take with the over number one pick? I know one of our colleagues said Patrick Peterson needs to go uh, be their first pick defensive back return man there. We went with Cam Newton, the two of us did, and our colleague is again admitted that he was wrong on this one right there though, but tell our listeners what you told me what your thoughts are on Cam Newton. 
You, you know, my thoughts are, I, I, I said this in the middle of the game today, and people have been thinking it, and they haven't really came out and said it, but I, I'm born and raised in Charlotte, so, you know, I'm 26 years old now. I've seen a lot of sports come through here, Hornets, Bobcats, Panthers, whoever, and, and I'll go on record and saying it right now, um, that, that Cam Newton is the most exciting uh, player, amazing player, that we've ever had in the city of Charlotte in all sports, and I think he's just going to continue to create that mold, and, and it's great for this city to finally have somebody like that to get behind. They had great players in Larry Johnson, Alonzo Morning, who really got the city going with the Hornets. But this this guy, Cam Newton, I mean, it's going to break the mold as far as quarterbacks go, the way you play the game, running, throwing. Um, the sky is the limit. We have him right now, Cam Newton Foundation, behind the sports stuff for kids. He's the most amazing, polarizing figure we've ever had in sports here in Charlotte. And it's going to be fun to watch. So I tell fans out there, get ready to enjoy the ride. Again, just a rookie, got a lot to go as far as learning, playing the game, always going to get better, though. This is going to wrap up our coverage this year of the Carolina Panthers. We've enjoyed bringing you post-game reports. We will now start on our next endeavor, which will be Bobcat post-up wrap-ups that will be starting. We've got three big weeks, uh, three big games this week to bring you with Milwaukee on Monday night, Wednesday night, the Miami Heat, LeBron come to town, Dwight Howard, and the Magic come. So stay tuned. But first, we're going to enjoy Christmas, and we want to give all our listeners out there, wish them a Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. Happy holidays. Enjoy time with your friends and family. I mean, that's what that's what it matters around here, and we look forward to doing more coverage for you after the holidays. Remember the reason for the season, and again, Panther fans, this is a Christmas you can enjoy with a huge win today over the Tampa Bay Bucks. Reporting for Cox Sports Broadcasting, I'm Dick Cox, and he is Dustin Piper. Have a good Christmas.